I consider the, uh, the Constitutional Amendment to be a malicious act of violence against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people, against their inherent dignity and humanity. Um, it has nothing to do with marriage in the sense of trying to pr protect marriage. It is essentially tr warning to say that lesbian and gay uh, couples have no right, uh, should not be respected, and have their marriages recognized by the state of North Carolina. In September of 2011, I read an article in the News and Observer, uh, and it was about the Constitutional Amendment. And it quoted Tammy Fitzgerald, who's with the North Carolina Values Coalition, and she made the statement that we have to protect marriage, that marriage is threatened by gay marriage. And I was so angry when I read that. I was just like, how can anyone's marriage be threatened by gay marriage? So I turned to my husband and I was like, really, do you feel like our marriage is threatened <laughs> by gay marriage? And he goes, no, of course not. And I, I just, I couldn't let go of it. I was just so angry that someone would make such a stupid statement. <laughs> so um, I was like, I'm going to start a Facebook page about this. This is really ridiculous. I mean, nobody believes this. This is, no, how can you believe this? Um, so I got outraged and I started a <laughs> Facebook page called My Marriage is Not Threatened by Gay Marriage in North Carolina. I was really surprised by the response. Um, what I ask folks to do is if they are a heterosexual couple in North Carolina, uh, would they please post their photo to the Facebook page as a sign of support to um, this issue and you know to affirm in some way that their marriage was not threatened by gay marriage. They posted wonderful photos um, of their marriage, of, their, of them kayaking, of them in the mountains, on the beach, all, all places in North Carolina, and just showing life as they are. Some people posted photos of them with their children. Um, there are young people, there are middle-aged people, there are older people, and all with smiles on their faces and affirming that their marriage is not affected by gay marriage in North Carolina. Non-gay couples should oppose the constitutional amendment because they, of all people, understand um, how important the protections are that are provided by the state. And in order to have a family and a uh, and secure family, those protections are very much needed. I don't understand how it could be possible for someone to believe that their marriage is threatened by gay marriage. Um, I look at our marriage and what could be a threat to it, and gay marriage is not one of those things that could be a threat to it. Um, there are lots of threats to marriage, mm -hmm. you know, um, working too much, uh, arguing over money, <laughs> um, <laughs> not uh, staying focused on what you need to stay focused on. There are lots of threats to marriage. Um, gay marriage is not one of those, and I don't understand how anyone could think that. It just seems v impossible to me. The uh, possibility for same-gender couples to marry is not a threat um, to the marriage of non-gay couples. In fact, it enhances the institution of marriage. It really puts the emphasis on the fact that love and the commitment that people ha make to one another is the real foundation of marriage. It's not gender, it's not class, it's not religion, it's not color, it's not any of the other things that we've often said, you know, are, are conditions that have to be met for, uh, for marriage. Marriage is simply and purely a relationship of love. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to say, we are not a state of bigotry. We are a state of freedom and respect, and that is why we have to vote uh, against this constitutional amendment. And that will be a witness to the nation, that a southern state mm -hmm. stood up to um, uh, religious bigotry yep. and um, uh, social bigotry against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people and said, no, we are not going to do that. My marriage and my marriage and our, our marriage, marriage is, is not, not threatened, threatened by same gender in North Carolina. <laughs> Carolina. Okay, all right. We'll say Can gay I say marriage. That is. Um,
Well, marriage equality is what I like to say. I don't like the idea of gay marriage, but um, I mean the term, because that implies something that is different from other marriage. <laughs> but um, uh, marriage equality is more comprehensive. This is wonderful. See, we even get a glimpse, you know, behind the curtain here. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, even yeah. within the same couple. <laughs> exactly. you know, that was probably Different better than points of view. <laughs> yeah. can, can we get a couple, a couple more versions in? There? Okay. And let's look at each other on our marriage. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Do you know what we're going to say? My marriage. And my marriage. And, and our, our marriage is not threatened, threatened by a marriage <laughs> in North Carolina. Sorry, I said affected. Sorry. We'll do it again. My <laughs> marriage. And my marriage. And, and our, our marriage, marriage is, is not threatened by gay marriage, marriage in North Carolina. Carolina.